Hi guys, so my regular viewers might be a bit um, a bit shocked here that, uh, to see me making a gaming video, but the uh, fact is I do play a lot and actually I never have found a game like this which I wanted to talk about. So um, as you see this game here is called Airships Conquer the Skies and I came across it on Steam. Mostly because uh, I, I listened to an audiobook uh, called The Aeronauts Windless by Jim Butcher, which is really a great book which where, about which I might want to talk on a later point. But um, yeah, it's about airships, as you can choose by the uh, can you guess by the title, and yeah, steampunk universe, and yeah, it put me quite in the mood. And also, I before that, I, I listened to another book which uh, was called. Uh, the Godsland Saga, which also included airships in a minor role, and yeah, and uh, then I remember that I back in 2003 or 2004 I watched uh, an anime series called Last Exile, which, be, which you might have, have heard about, which also is about airships. Um, yeah, so airships are quite an interesting thing for me, and this game is is really really good in its way. So um, I've been rated it. Uh, has some creative elements and yeah, you build your airships, your land ships, your fortresses and have them fight each other. Yeah, as you can see some of the designs are it's actually the own designs which I made here in the background, so it's quite interesting. I never noticed that. So one thing one thing at the start, um, I noticed that the standard cursor is uh, up to the, to the other side. I show you this here. Um, so the, the default cursor is like this, and um, for me it was really difficult to use. So um, and I saw other people had the same problem because it's, it's a bit set off, I think, or for me it feels that way. So um, I would highly recommend to go, go to the system cursor at, le at least if you have the same problem as I. Because for me it was really hard to click on stuff. Um, also, this is the I think the third or fourth attempt to make this video so um i hope it gets better with time uh, three or two two of them failed due to technical reasons and yeah and i think one was just poor and poor and uh condensed child so yeah um i decided we want we go directly to the conquest mode to show you so show you around in the game the airship academy is the tutorial which is quite nice made um design and fight I tried earlier, and this is where you, you can like tinker with different designs of, of airships. This has the, the big disadvantage that you don't have the same stuff available in the in the true game. So um, this is more like for the multiplayer or to, to tweak a bit on the designs. But in the conquest mode you have not as much stuff available so that you're so it's easier. You have uh, not so much stuff to worry about and uh, on the other hand the stuff you build here mostly won't work without um, adjustment in the conquest mode. So we let's go there. So um, make a new game. This is the, the version 8.2. Um, yeah. Let's let's try with the with the random arts. So the um, yeah, area two Peter's I have not talked. So um, actually, when you uh, go too easy. Um, when you select your art, you can um, this the, the this uh, defines the bonus which your nation, which you start, are starting with, has. So some are quite nice, others are, are uh, simply technical. Technical, like here we have aerial torpedoes, something which I have not yet tried out myself. Um, maybe try this later. Uh, here, steel armor absorbs 50% more damage. This is quite a nice bonus, I think. Um, yeah, we could uh, <coughs> name our nation. Let's see. I go to to the easy. I think I will go for easy at the moment. Um, it's uh, an easy. It's quite easy, but um, yeah, it's a real. I will probably probably be ashamed of my performance here. So not building a map of the nation. So um, uh, here we see the the nations which are present. Our neighbors are 
Ultra, Northwest Tex, Romberton, and then we have the Roundford, Coron, Unicorn, Met Met Metropolis, and Tabit Falls in our in our world here. The, um, the water here cannot be crossed by land ships, so uh, um, we would need airships to invade these two nations. Uh, I think this is the map with the most land connections I saw. So, um, when you hear the, the sea route, so when you, we, for example, uh, when we would own boat around Ford and Woodcon, we could transfer our land ships here. So, um, your, your nation always gets. Um, gets its own ship. Let's have a look on it. And uh, yeah. This is about horrible but um but it's not not that bad say generally but um be generous. Um so this is an airship um you see here in the upper left you see the you see the states of the of the thing. Um, important is the, the cost for building, for example, and the maintenance is a very important factor because this determines, um, in fact, how much airships we can have. Uh, rate lift is important. The ceiling service ceiling is very important. The higher your ship can go, the better it is in general. The speed is important. Yeah, everything is important. But for example, we have. We need a minimum crew of 11 and recommended is 23. We have 24. We have four guards, which is nice because our boarding can be really problem. Oh, this is heavy and has very much air marine, so it's probably much more in for boarding. Some other designs. You can here see with the overlays, you can see um, how the hit points of the ships are distributed. I think this tank. We should probably get lost of water supply is quite nice. Air room, ammunition, yeah. and I'm not quite sure, but I think these are the rooms which are most prone to explosions. So they are explosions would do most damage or something like this. Um, so, but for example, here we have two big supply hatches. Which is absolutely or cargo doors, which is absolutely unnecessary because uh, we could be just don't need them. Yeah. Just need one because we, we have uh, we require 20 supplies and at the moment we get 80. So uh, we could probably go for with with three small ones. So also the the. Flag can on the top uh, is not really is not really a good idea because um, honestly it um, does not give give us much benefit benefit and probably can go with one less marine. Cannons are quite, are quite basic weaponry, so um, they're quite. They have no big down or upset, up or downside. I really enjoy the rifles because they um, they have a really big arc here, which, uh, where they can fire. So um, there are not so many blind spots. So good a service ceiling. I think rather than the small coal room, have quite quite some big um have the big um Lux's large suspension chamber which needs one coal every ten seconds and the large propeller which which needs one coal every eighteen seconds so yeah. So uh, with this with this small coal chamber we would run out Quite fast, or would go quite fast. This is 
way better to have a bit more, a bit more, and then we probably need more crew. Which is there as far as I can see. Put in a sick bay as well. Crossness is also a nice addition because it makes our guns fire much more precise. Actually, I don't think we need guards and marines. This is a waste of, just a waste of space and time. We always need some some corridors for the people to move up and down. And then I forgot totally about the supply hatches. So we need one, two, three we need some. That's still quite expensive this whole thing. It's armored. But the steel variant is much, it's a bit more expensive, but it's much lighter, so we can get better service heating out of our ship here. And with a white paint job, so this improves that a bit. 145 is not bad, but not good, but still. Maybe, maybe we will need some backward facing weapon. We we'll just go with the, with the rifle as well. So they, are, they don't punch through armor, but they are, they are quite nice. They Of some crew. So now we have one more than recommended. It's always nice if somebody gets hurt. Um, it's not really a beautiful ship. Um, probably not the most effective design, but for a big venture, I think it's better than it had been before. Yeah. There's this two cargo ports at the, at the, at the phones were really a bad thing. So, um, we should also send spies to our neighbors just to, to see how they are doing. And here's the, the construction, construction is going. We have a large shipyard, which is quite nice because um, most times. I think I have, most times I had smaller shipyards, so here we can now check out our neighbors. What they have, what weaponry they have. And for example, this looks like something we could really invade without much problem with our current, with our current airships. Yeah. Let's go back, see how our own defenses look. Oh, this is also a not too bad defense tower. With March cannons with some anti-aircraft guns. I think I think this can stand most early designs. Should should have, we have no problem to destroy most ships. So I don't think we need any anything more. Okay. Do they have only okay, flint bars. Computers are oh, quite interesting. Hmm. 
this design also. This forest also does not look so strong, so. The question where we should. Where we should put our. I think we will go here for the computers. Maybe fit some computers to our ship because uh, they give the additional bonus to. So now we are attacking the city. We, we moved our fleet here. You can see this is the service ceiling, so we could try get it from above. It should work quite nice. Mm -hmm. But they have actually this in, in this run we probably will go over and then get him from the because uh, we only have one cannon here. The bombs are really effective on the scene. <coughs> oh, it's just, oh, it's just some damage here from the running. We should have put some more water on the back side. There's some problem here in the text like that the fire and the fire crew does not get here so far. Then we can, we can decide how we want to take over the the city. But I, I like um because I'm a nice guy I always want to gently take over. Also check out the own foot because the airships maybe could get a problem here. Come problem here and all. This is the the starting airship was quite good. So normally it's it's most of the times it's really good. So it takes some time till you can build uh, a new thing and uh, in a new city. It take over period. So now we can go here and we can go and repair the fortress which was there. Our ship. Our ship was actually not damaged that bad, so right here. And I will build the airship as well. It's only a small one. It was an attack by Capic Falls to here. They build the second tank uh, and some walker thing. It should be no no real challenge for this airship as which we have here. So I think we will build one more defense building here. I already have a design which was which was always very effective. The only I think I, I only have seen this beaten once by um by somebody who tried it. This was my first turret which I built. Uh, it's a bit bit expensive, but. Um, Covers all angel angle, which is quite nice. And I have only seen it beaten once. So this we will. I will give it here. So, so because the backside of this this turret has a really big disadvantage on the backside. It only has one cannon here. So um, and as you could see, it was also um, it was also quite easy hard to attack. Another thing that um, what I but uh, another problem is with the land ships is the enemy is using land ships quite extensive. They cannot pass uh, most holes, so you can build some kind of trench, and then most tanks will never be able to get play closer to your fortress. Which is, is quite a nice thing. You think of it. The problem with the, with the heavy bomb, with the with as much bombs which I have on my airship, is that um, I cannot see the, the battle so close on. Oh, they're trying to attack us. <laughs> There's probably some. You cannot see what the, the enemy has in his ships. So, um, Probably 
bought the same. Okay, the cold storage are I really prone to going. I have the means jumping from the ships. See what they have. So but now we have to defend ourselves against the airship fleet here. Let's see if this if this tower is as effective as I thought it to be. So when we are defending, don't do not really have so much to do so we can watch the other airships. I don't think they have hopefully they don't have a long tail. I never used this place, so I can't really say anything. Really effective, so I should also spy here. Oh, send spies here as well. So, um, so the, you see really where, the, where the, the defects of your designs are because we saw here in the back side we have really a fire, fire problem. The whole thing. It's not sure the access. So that will. Oh, so they're boiling, I think. Some big thing to maybe we should try to invade them before they are finished with their thingy.
another victory. And he will need to repair the defenses, I think. Oh, build him. of income now. Hmm. So the other nations are not doing so well there. Because they don't have the income we have, they cannot really build an effic efficient fleet or land ship fleets to to match our match our match our own. So we wanted to Faster. Wanted to refit the, our first ship. Go to our big shipyard. So, so we had we had a problem on the backside that fire here. We had really a problem. That nobody nobody came there in time to to um, to cleanse the fire. This was a big problem. What you mean? On the other hand, we can since we acquired a new city, we can also add one more. I think two more time. Two things. So it's target and completion. I'm not quite sure if we should go with the targeting computer, but uh, I certainly want to go with the telescope. Yeah, it's quite expensive, I didn't notice, but this increases our accuracy by 30%, 30 percent here. Um, I'm quite sure if we should also add the computers, I think it's way too heavy. Maybe nice touch on the side, but I think here it's not really necessary. Oh. Well, I cancelled it. Or commerced it out then. Without the stuff on the back side, which I wanted to have done, but push it. Somebody attacking. I have never seen this design, this tower design beaten, so I have to beat this. But they are tanks, the tanks here, they are really. I think they make the arrow which they mostly do is to make the tanks so heavy and unmanly that they cannot move that down. Oh, mm -hmm. 
weapon in this thing. I think I had to have flame power with lots of flame when it when it hit our tower. So, um, they had a flame thrower here. We had a very support range on the other one. So we did not have it here. It's hard to attack us. Happens. The airship blocks or something like this. Then, um, so I think that these tanks are really no no match at all for our airship. Actually, I, I wanted to put in. Um, this is by now it's a really expensive design and it's probably nothing which you want. Would have at the start of the game usually, but yeah, we're lucky. Okay. So we fit this. It's quite too easy this time around. We have a much higher service ceiling on our ship. So it can go up to, to here. Literally unreachable by, by anybody. ships here. No. They have lost their hometown because they had no defense there. Hmm. 
think I'll go to other stable just one ship to make it more interesting. So this looks like more of a challenge at the moment. Just build some defenses here. Activity. Got our efforts. And now we have we have the money to basically build any any crazy design we could come up with. Let's make it a short short here. And, and you can see our uh, I think our service seating is extends that of these ships quite a lot and yeah, they are only a forward fast person weapons uh, and there's no building at all. So if we want to make it boring we can just go up and <coughs> out of there, the range of the uh the bombs are not so efficient on fast moving ships but right? Yeah. 
some defense against capturing and doing but they have much better turrets here but uh, also the these things are quite quite weak As we saw, we are lacking ammunition. We never run out of coal, but ammunition certainly is. So probably we go, should go for this one. So probably run out of. We we'll probably run out of uh, coal instead of ammunition. So let's see. I so thought the other turrets had been much more efficient than this. <coughs> no one's more tired to capture this power.
find a problem that they don't hit. They didn't have enough ammo in their stores. Oh, let's try to intercept them in the flight. They have heavy guns, which are really a problem if we let them get into a good firing position. the battle without going down so this was quite quite a success So they, they retreated as soon as they took over so they, mm. 
should probably not do that yet. Just our one ship. Place them out of the sky. Oh, but they, they could bring their ship into the safety zone. So. Design. It is not quite so expensive, but 2300 is quite quite cheap for the 
The performance of the ships uh, are really impressed. Probably so, this one here, which is uh, much more expensive, but I don't think it's much more. And this is a problem we have. We have this design, but it can't, we cannot use it because we don't have the Gatling gun, which are made in. So I would need it to, to refit it. This time I will finish it. So. Oh, just build one more of this. Rather, rather good working design. And the thing is that the really big designs, they they really take a long time to build. So this can really be a problem. That will be like an hour, but money is really the thing we have. We have an abundance. So. Airships can go everywhere. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a long balloon. See if we can do it with two of the of our random battleships triplets.
perfect damage here. Flying, so this is really, it's really amazing how this can go. But let's see, this, this ship has quite extensive damage. It's really amazed with this design because uh, it turned out so well. It was just, uh, just the, the, the default design which was given, which came with our nation. Some minor adjustments. Normally, I went for much smaller ships. Ships. So yeah, it uh, went quite long. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I'll probably do some more videos on this game, go a bit into details. But yeah, it's so, all uh, whole campaign on easy can went. And actually, the the ship design which we came up here uh, was was really a great thing. So um, yeah, really amazed with what we we built here. With just uh, the basic thing which the game gave us. So maybe this is a, is a good idea to to try this out and go a bit more into this direction using the ships. The game throws at you and build something decent out of them. So thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Yeah, don't forget to to write comments, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully I see you guys soon either on airships or um, some other of my stuff like running weight loss family life and all the other stuff because I can certainly not decide what to do on my channel but yeah to do, do to take it as it comes. See you guys soon. Bye bye. <coughs>